Hi, this is Miranda from the Kidaholic Kits and welcome back to our channel. I am going to have a special type layout. All I am doing is out of my head. So I had a thought process and I did a little bit off camera. I cut the major page out. I did my half, um, half sheets there and then I sewed up the front and the middle of it. Now I was going to try to use this little packet and I just, I thought it was going to work and I'm like nope not going to work put them away and what I did off camera was just wanted to cut these up and make them look right because I do do a lot of embellishments that I show you how I get these to look right and kind of give myself this butterfly twirl around the pages I do do quite a bit of photos here because there's three photos and then on one side and then that smaller or that smaller little petite one on the other now this is of my daughter it is after she got her flowers from daddy I'm taking all these photos of her and her sweet dress and her hair done and her um, bouquet of flowers all of that stuff she picked out her bouquet of flowers she picked out how many ribbons she wanted she picked out the colors of flowers she wanted and yeah she was spoiled rotten this day and she's wearing a unicorn dress and she wanted to take photographs so every pose that she is doing is what she wanted to do I just took the pictures for her and so what I decided to do is is that I wanted these butterflies to kind of fly around I wanted it to be a subtle change to go around the pages and to kind of match in so I thought that this worked out perfect for what I wanted it to do and how I wanted it done and then I do glue down this frame and I do a little bit of a wonky picture but it turns out wonderful so I start to put down all my embellishments and all of that kind of stuff so while I'm doing this make sure that you go check out the kits make sure that you go check out the community page the website all of that jazz because the Kidaholic Kits does have this collection and it is amazing. I love, love this collection. It is kind of one of the things that I like about getting the Kidaholic Kits in because it is one thing that we in the United States don't get. There's not all that many people that actually supply coca vanilla so when I can get it into a kit I am going to use it all the way up so I don't have any more stash because it is that wonderful I'm not a hoarder I like to use my things so this is one of them that I can't wait because I did do I've got a whimsical type feeling going with this type of a collection or these photos for her I have some of Chamel's collection and then now I'm using this collection so I'm connecting them together and I thought it would just be perfect for this style. Where did I go? I don't even know where I went. Well, I'm sorry about that. Um, I don't know what that... I don't know where I went. I am sorry about this. I should have cut this part out. I'm absolutely sorry about this. But anyway, the photographs are... There's my hands. I don't know what I was doing. Maybe my husband. It could have been my husband was talking to me and I forgot that I was filming. Which sometimes happens. So I'm sorry about that. But it works out. Well, maybe I'm going to work. Uh, yep, there we go. I do know that I was watching um, The Blacklist during this. So if you do see my hand just stop and I'm not doing anything, it's because I'm watching The Blacklist as well. That season came out and while I was traveling and the reason why I had to change my date up or my day up was because I did have a death in the family so I had to travel to Oklahoma and back and on my way back from Oklahoma the blacklist ended up being on Netflix and I binged watched it so I'm like almost done with that season and I'm like oh season seven needs to be done it needs to be May so that I can watch season 7 because I can only imagine how this season is going to go because season 6 went one way that I never thought was going to go. I was like, oh my Lanta, it like threw me for a loop, but I absolutely love it. <coughs> 
Sorry about that. So if you're ever wanting to know what I binge watch, you got to let me know. Because that's why my hand, you'll see my hand like pitter-patter. It's either I'm watching and catching up on YouTube videos or I am doing binge watching. So now I'm just getting everything done. It looks like um, I'm coming close to the end. Make sure that you do like and subscribe to everything. Also make sure that you go check out everything as well. I know that you guys are enjoying this collection because I know I am. So you guys have got to as well. And I was able to get four photos on there. So see, you can still do a wonderful collection. Do a wonderful layout with this many photos. So that you don't have to do onesies and twosies all the time. And I do like to do my onesies and twosies. But not all the time. I do like to try to mass it out. Without it looking like a two page layout. And that's what I like about it. All of these pages are still complementary to each other. But it's not like a double page spread. So that's what I really like about this. And I'm just adding a little bit down below there. Um, Let's see here. I do know that the still shots are coming up. I've got to stop watching. <laughs> I've got to stop watching TV while I'm scrapbooking. My hands stop too much. That's why I watch a lot of TV shows. Like when I go to crops and stuff, I watch a lot of TV shows because I can just sit and kind of do whatever I want because I'm not always filming. And if it takes me two hours to watch that because I'm, or to, to, uh, get a layout done because I'm not filming, it don't matter. But yeah, I really do love how this turns out. I absolutely love it. So now I'm coming in with the arrows. I decided I'm going to use like the curly cool arrows all the way around and make it as best as I possibly can and just kind of highlight certain little things. I do come in with splatters as well for part of my stash. And I do come in with the enamel dots as well. The enamel dots gets put on and then I come in with my splatters. My splatters is from Nuvo Mists. It's the Micro Mist. Um, silver, gunmetal silver I think is what it's called. And yeah, so that is pretty much my layout. The still shots are coming up. Make sure that you like and subscribe to, to the channel. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.